Okay, so, but then you took a break from porn in 2019 to focus on your mental health. Yes. What happened that made you realize you had to take a step back? So it was at the end of 2018 where I had this, like, panic attack. I was supposed to fly to New York to do feature dancing at uh, the Sapphire Club. And this was during a time where I was literally five years straight, like, saying yes to everything. Mm. And I was a party girl, too. So I just, like, was exhausted. Um and I was already with Ally Direct at the time, mm-hmm. and he had me booked for three months of shoots as well. You know, it was yeah, just, he would drive you into the ground. Yeah, like every weekend, I was gonna have to be traveling to a different state, um, city to do the feature dancing on top of doing shoots. So it was like travel here, travel there, do this, do that. You know, mm-hmm. I'm not really having like breaks in between, and that's not my agent's fault. Like that's me not giving my time, me time to rest. So I just got extremely overwhelmed because, you know, I was shooting for companies. I would do like webcam shows. I would do feature dancing. I would do live sex shows. I was also escorting. Mm -hmm. And um, I was trying to build my own website too. I had a contract with Cherry Pimps at the time. Mm -hmm. So there was just a lot going on. And um, I just, something in me just said, I don't want to go to the East Coast. I don't want to sit on a plane for six hours. I don't even want to go to the airport right now. I don't want to pack. I'm not about to like, just go to like Kentucky next weekend too. You Mm -hmm. know, I just like freaked out. And um, I like, it was like, I think two hours before I was supposed to get on the plane, I was (laughs) supposed to already be at the airport where I had to tell my agent, like, I'm not going. I had to pay like eight grand to get out of those feature dance contracts on good terms because they had already booked all of the flights, hotel, flyers, like marketing, like everything. Mm. Because my agency was really good about like you're booked, you're booked solid and like we everything is confirmed and like you want to work, we've got the work for you, which I am so grateful that every agency has always done that for me. But I think all the pressure got catched up to me yeah i wasn't letting myself have breaks and i was just like burnt out and i felt like i don't want to show up to set not wanting to be there yeah because i'm tired or resentful towards things of decisions that i've made like not allowing myself to have breaks um you're always taught to just be strong and kind of internalize things and like i said i was a party girl so i don't i didn't really have much clarity and i think my self-worth was kind of dropping a little Mm -hmm. bit so i just was like i need a break Mm -hmm. i just need a break and i had only planned to take 2019 off I wasn't mm-hmm. planning on taking five years off. Yeah. Well, yeah. Unfortunately, t- all of us took 2020 off. <laughs> yeah. Nobody really got a choice there. Yeah. I had only worked the first three months of 2020, mm-hmm. and I was already out of contract. So those were like independent bookings, mm-hmm. and they were booked solid as well. Somehow, I was always able to have like solid months of bookings um, and fulfilled those. And then whatever was scheduled, because in, when – in April was when everybody made the stance like, no, we're shutting down. Yeah. We're in pandemic mode. Yeah. So a bunch of shit got canceled. And it was like, I had started doing OnlyFans, but then I also gained 20 pounds. So mm. I was like really insecure. Mm-hmm. Um, although when people saw my my ass and my tits grew, they were like, you look great. And I was like, I feel fat. Um, And then I had that serious relationship with somebody who was taking care of me Mm -hmm. financially. So I just slowed down on the OnlyFans. Like I still had the account, but I just wasn't really producing any content on there. And I did not understand the importance of responding to messages Mm. with my fans and subscribers. And then social media was like, non-existent to me. I did not understand the importance of that either Mm -hmm. because I had no intentions of quitting or retiring. Um, I never announced that. I just took a break. But what was interesting was there were still uh, scenes being released of me throughout those years. I guess they were being held on. and then So no one really knew that I was on break. They just didn't see me around. But Mm -hmm. then there was still content like floating around. Yeah. Yeah. 